Welcome back to another Witcher lore video. I've decided to make today's video on a very, very interesting monster, as this is my Witcher Monsters Day, and I decided this monster is just so interesting and I really want to make a video on it. And this monster is, of course, you can tell by the title, the fiends. So I'm going to begin today's video with some basic information, so let's just get right into it. So if you were to come across one of these monsters, you would first notice that it has three eyes. So you may be wondering, why three? Surely two's enough. Well this monster's third eye, which is the one in the middle, is used as a way to hypnotize its victims. So you may actually remember this from your own experiences in the game, which is when you fight against Morvud, I think that's how you say it, or Morvud, <laughs> which is the fiend in Crookback Bog, and this practically blinds you. And it of course did this by using using its third eye. So you may be wondering, how does this eye actually work? Like, how does that happen? Is that just a natural thing for it to be able to use magic? It works in a similar way to how human mages use their hands for magic. So humans use their hands and they channel magic and they use their hands as a way to kind of divine that into the world. This is similar to how the fiend uses magic, it basically almost brings it through its head, through its eye and then uses a hypnotizing spell which can therefore hypnotize people. It also possesses two antlers and its body is covered with patches of hair. It doesn't look to be based off any particular animal but it is thought that this beast was based off a creature from Slavic mythology. So this creature is known as a bice or a bice, I, I think it's bice. And a bice is basically just a demon and after the acceptance of Christianity into the sort of paganistic religion, it became associated with the devil, as before it did act as the kind of devil of, of that pagan religion. So a fiend is classed as a relic, but possesses relations in the witch universe. And these two relations are of course Chorts and Bumbakaveches, I think. <laughs> and I will get into both of these relations in later videos, as I want to kind of cover them in their own videos. So now I'm going to move on to this monster's combat tactics and what you should do when you meet them. And then I will finally read some trivia and then the journal entry. So, fiends are described as having not only incredible strength, but also incredible speed. If you come across one of these creatures, you must be fast. Fiends use their arms and claws to pummel and smash their prey. You must watch out for this creature's third eye as it can use this feature to lure its victims into a state of hypnosis, as I said earlier. So in this state of hypnosis, you can only see one visible light source, and that is the creature's glowing eye. So a good tactic to follow when in this position is to follow the eye and use it as a way to judge its attacks and evade them. You can actually prevent this fiend's hypnosis in a few ways. One is by using a well-timed sign as a sword just won't work and you can also use the well-timed salmon bomb and this can actually permanently disable the creature's eye. And if all of these tactics fail, this hypnosis does actually have a limited range. So when it starts to charge at you, do at least two rolls back and you should avoid its effect. A good sign to use against these creatures is Igni as if it gets caught on fire, it will actually become incapacitated capacitated for the duration of the incineration. Also, if you're going to go into battle with this creature, you should look out for when it begins to pour the ground like a bull, as it is about to charge at you. If you get too close to this creature, it will lash out with its claws and horns with moderately sized sweeping attacks, and, like most monsters, it's best to try and get behind this creature, as it can't really defend itself from the back. So a little bit of trivia is that the fiend did appear in the game trailer for The Witcher, and it was pale skinned and had dark brown hair, but a lot in the game are red with darkish red hair. The only exception is actually Morvud and he appears to be black and white with a pattern. It's also unknown whether there are more types of fiend than just the red type, as the red type is the most common colouring of fiends, at least in the Witcher games. So now I'm going to read the bestiary entry on this creature. I regret to inform your grace that your grace's son fell while hunting a fiend. He died on the spot, along with his squire, his guide, the beaters, his peasant entourage and his hounds. Kevin Jell, manager of the Villapin estate near Vizima. Fiends are walking mountains of muscle, capped with horned, tooth-filled heads. Like their rarer cousins, Bumpkavetches, they live in thick forests, swamps, and bogs. When possible, they avoid humans, but when not possible, they kill them, and without much difficulty. Their size alone makes fiends and Bumpkavetches extremely dangerous. One blow from their powerful paws can kill a knight along with its fully armoured mount. Their enormous heft also makes them invulnerable to Ard. Even witches, specialising in the power of signs, could not move one even an inch. Furthermore, any wounds they receive heal at lightning speed. If that weren't trouble enough, fiends need not rely on their strength and stamina alone with fighting. They can also call on a more refined weapon, the third eye located in the centre of its forehead, which they use to draw their prey into a state of hypnosis. During these times, their victim does not see anything beyond this single burning eye, the last thing they see before their death. A fiend's only weakness is its fear of loud noises. Bombs, such as Samum, 
or Devil's Puffball are thus quite effective when fighting this monster. Furthermore, a blade covered in relic oil can increase a witch's chance of victory, or at least of walking away from the fight. This creature is one of the few creatures in the witch universe to actually drop loot specifically to it, so it only a fiend drops this loot. For example, the loot this creature drops are fiend mutagens, fiend trophies, fiend eyes, fiend dung, filth essence, lesser bune mutagens, monster bone, monster hair, and raw meat. Obviously a lot of those drop off other creatures as well, but it's the specific fiend things that you can get from killing one of these creatures. But anyway, that's the end of fiends. I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. I really, really like these monsters, and I hope you've learned something new that you didn't know before, and when you next come up against one of these fiends, maybe you'll know how to survive. Even though obviously the tactic is just to spam X. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I hope you've all learnt something new. If this is your first video you're actually finding of my channel, be sure to click subscribe as then you'll get new Witcher videos, I'm doing some playthroughs too in your subscription every single day, and you can watch those. Personally, I'm finding it a bit difficult to find YouTubers I want to watch, so hopefully I'll be one of the YouTubers that you want to watch. Be sure to follow me on Twitter as I do polls on there every other Friday, so not the Friday which is when I'm recording this today, but next Friday, the next Friday for you guys, as I'll be doing a poll deciding on what my random fandom lore video is going to be for that Saturday. Also, be sure to follow my Twitch, I plan to stream more games on there soon, it's taken me a little while to get it all to properly work, I did stream recently, but I've been very busy recently, so if you follow me on there, you'll get the notification when I go live. Hopefully. And also be sure to join the Discord, we have active chats on there every day about The Witcher, other fandoms, sometimes people even talk about random stuff, just stuff that they like and other people in the chat might like, so be sure to join that. You can also post R, Gwent challenges, loads and loads of stuff, so just, you know, you, maybe you'll like it. And as always, a big big thank you to the Patreon pledges, you guys are honestly amazing, thank you to all of you who have consistently donated for a long time, or even anyone that's new, I just am so happy that you all donate, and it's so kind of you, and I'm glad to put you at the end of every single one of these videos. You're all honestly amazing, and I want to just say thank you all so much. And to end today's video, be sure to click that like button, as it's very very kind of you, and I put effort into these videos, and it's nice if you just click that like button to let me know that you enjoyed it. Anyway, I'll see you guys all later, thank you for watching today's video, Goodbye, guys. And I'll see you in the next video, which should probably be a law video on Monday. So yeah, have an awesome weekend, guys.